Good evening. I just learned this. It's about 20 minutes before 11, and the title of the video is Mrs. Crin Curry Goes to Heaven. And Mrs. Crin Curry Goes to Heaven of East Harbor Bushy. I seen her two weeks ago tomorrow at the R.K. McDonald Nursing Home, and she looked older to me. I mean, she wasn't a spring chicken. Actually, she was 97. She would have been 98 her next birthday, and so... And I take, and uh, what a remarkable lady. Uh, Mr. McLean had an expression, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. I'll repeat that. The late Mr. Lloyd G. McLean had an expression, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Crin was born in the lovely Cadian community of East Trackety. I'm in Trackety, Anaganish County. She was an East, born Easter, and I never knew that. I knew she had bushy relatives in East Tower Bushy, but I always thought she was a native of East Tower Bushy, but she was born in East Trakati. Okay, she married very well. She married a Cape Bretoner. She married Terence Curry from C U R R I E. C U R R I E. A decent curry. Very, very good curry, he, this case. He was from uh, Blaise Bay. And uh, they take and place back Cape Breton. So she married well. She married a Cape Bretoner. And he married very well. He married a, a lady, from Cadian lady from uh, with roots in East Trakati. And again, it's county. Underline the county. County Nova Scotia. And what a remarkable, wonderful lady. She takes and uh, they get married many years ago. She was a midwife. Uh, she birthed. She attended something the British show called a midwife. She she attended the birth of many of the Shernan family, of red and white uh, town and country, red and white branded supermarkets, Shernan family, and uh, and many, many more. And she was a mother to two families. She lost, uh, she lost, uh, I think it was three of her girls got killed and died in a fire tragically. One son survived. He used to come in and buy seeds and cucumber plants and stuff for his garden, Charlie. And then she had a, a second family. And uh, what's remarkable about both of them is there was no bitterness. Uh, I'm going to repeat this, that Claudette was new with me. She has six kids. They're all grown up now, but in time. And this guy comes in whistling. And they had the Straight View restaurant up the road. First, she was at the Fina station, later became Petra Cannon, and Tim Hortons went there after, and she, she went across the road to uh, Straight Straight View restaurant. Her husband had worked at Imperial Oil and bought the former Imperial Oil garage in Alls Cove. And uh, he came in to buy cabbage many mornings to make coleslaw to go with the, the meals. And he'd be whistling along and, and he said, it's a great day to be in love. And Claudette said, who is that gentleman? I said, that's Terence Curry. His, him and his wife have a restaurant. Uh, his wife has a restaurant at the road and he helps her out. And sometimes she'd come in and buy a case of eggs and so on. But she was a hardworking, decent, honorable. She's from Harabushi, Harabushi, Anakinish County, Nova Scotia, a lovely Cadian community of Harabushi, where there's so many good people and so many outstanding women that so many big families, Bennetts and the Coast and the... Uh, and Fougeres and Lavanges and Bushies and I can go on. And they they're a credit to society, and they take and uh, she was a rem let's say a prayer for her. say Hail Mary. Her funeral's tomorrow, Saturday, the twenty fourth at one o'clock at Saint Paul's Catholic Church in Arbushi. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thee among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, thy baby Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our debt. Amen. And she was a wonderful lady, and I can say without hyperbold that the title of the video I repeat for her time is Mrs. Corinne Curry, Mrs. Terrence Curry, goes to heaven. What a remarkable lady, and she's up reunited with her, her precious little daughters, and a couple of other ch children have passed on now, and her husband. So it's... Uh, she would be 97. She's 97. Would have been 98. And you'd, I've seen her nurse and i her on some occasions. And she had this little doll in her hand. And I, I think she might have had late in her life a slight bit of memory loss. 
but she was up there, dementia as they call it, Alzheimer's, whatever, but she had that precious little doll in her hand, and no doubt she remembered the children she lost, and there was no bitterness. Uh, what a wonderful woman, and uh, what a wonderful family, large and accomplished family. Mention of family and the grandkids. A large and very accomplished family, and uh, a truly remarkable lady. Thank you. God bless. Good night.